Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's going to be reviewing a modified Ford Bronco Raptor. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the National GMC here in American Fork, Utah for giving me some time with this Raptor. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions, just ask for David. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. So firstly, powering the Braptor is a turbocharged 3 liter V6 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. It produces about 418 horsepower and then 442 pound feet of torque. Now before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So a big part of this build is paint matching items. So you guys can see here with the venting in the center, instead of just being plastic, right, exposed plastic, they've painted it black, which looks really cool. And you guys can see here Azure Gray for this particular Bronco Raptor. And then notice the whole front end has also been body painted slash blacked out, which looks really cool. And they continue the theme onto the bumper and even the back plate here on the front end has also been painted black so that it matches with the overall theme. And when you put it all together, it gives this Bronco Raptor a much more uniform appearance. Now around the side here, our turn wheel setup is 37 by 13 and a half by 22 in the front and over in the rear. And you guys can see that no expense was spared with this Bronco build. Vossen wheels, those do not come cheap. And they look really cool being all blacked out, goes with the overall theme. And you guys can see knobby mud terrain tires. And then here's a quick look at the whole suspension setup. Still have the Fox shocks and everything. Now the next part that's been body painted is the fender flare. And then you guys can see with the venting on the side. And then it's like the mirror caps. And then stuff like the door handle that's body painted from the factory still have the fixed side steps but notice even here you can see painted which looks really cool and so that gives us our side view here on this bronco raptor definitely an aggressive stance now in the back you'll find that the taillights have been tinted which i think is another cool part about this build and then you guys can see the spare 37 here on the back looks absolutely enormous it's crazy and then the bumper here in the back also body painted and the one thing i forgot to mention earlier is the whole top has also been body painted so that's you know again that's what adds to that uniform look that this bronco raptor has now i thought the shocks and everything were stock but it looks like we do have some modification action here with these shocks so we'll have to see how this performs on road and then when it comes to the interior, um, they haven't really changed anything here, so it's just normal Bronco Raptor, which isn't a bad thing because this is an upgraded interior, so you've got stuff like the carbon fiber. This one has the upgraded black bucket seats. You've got stuff like the orange seat belts. It's contrast nicely to the Azure Gray. And then you still have like the paddle shifters here. You got the big digital gauge cluster and all that. Front and rear locking differentials, trail turn assist, stabilizer bar disconnect, you know, the drive mode select and everything. So again, just fully loaded Bronco Raptor inside for this particular build and so yeah so now that we've gone over the build itself let's take it out drive it and see how it performs especially with that shock upgrade well let's talk about visibility before we set off in this modified bronco raptor so you can see visibility over the hood and by the way the windows are tinted which definitely helps out in the heat well, I'm monitoring both the mirrors and then you can see visibility throughout the rest of the rear i really do like these seats they're pretty comfortable and they hold you in place really well. Now, I'll turn this down a little bit so you guys can hear me a little bit better. Um, it'll be interesting to see how this drives. I have, you know, never thought that someone would uh, modify the shock setup on the Bronco Raptor, so just be interesting to see how that handles. And then, obviously, with the 22s and everything, I will say right off the bat, in normal Bronco Raptor fashion, feel like you're driving a freaking tank, which I love. Definitely has that king of the road feel. Just feel like you can run over anything. <laughs> it's uh, something that you gotta be careful with. Don't let the power get to your head. With great power comes great responsibility, right? But really smooth. Um, I mean, obviously from the factory, the Bronco Raptor has 37s. So this has already been dialed in and set up to handle 37s with the engine and the acceleration and everything. So it does not have any issue moving these 37 inch tall mud terrain tires. You yeah, love the transmission, just super snappy with the gear shifts. You know, there is some harshness from the mud trains and again, bigger wheels, you don't have as much sidewall, so not as much absorption from the tires, but still a pretty good ride, all things considered. 
so easy to drive. <laughs> I feel like you can just drive over anything in this. That's the cool thing about the Bronco Raptor. Yeah, I will say that, you know, that's the only downside about this build is it is, it is, it's not bad, but it is harsher compared to a regular Bronco Raptor in terms of the ride quality and all of that. Do you want to pop it into the sport mode? But I mean, overall, it, it drives pretty dang well, all things considered. Love the steering wheel too. I forgot about that with the marker at the top. Always a fun time. So aggressive. The Bronco Raptor really does drive like a like a toy. Everything about it is just all about aggression. I guess this is me showing you guys a turning radius. And by the way, no rubbing, no rubbing. I mean, again, to be expected, this has 37s from the factory, so you wouldn't expect it to rub with this setup. Yeah, see, stuff like this, it'll dip. It's like you just go through it with a Bronchraptor. Don't even think about it. <laughs> oh, I love how this drives. And you get like turbo blow off. It's fun. It's definitely fun. Let's pop into the Baja mode for a minute. Cause that's obviously, uh, obviously the for forward facing camera comes in. I just want to see, cause that's supposed to make the shocks right better with handling bumps and all of that. So I'm interested to see so aggressive with the gear shifts in Baja mode. <laughs> yeah, it does help out a bit. So to sum things up here with this Bronco Raptor review, I think this thing looks really cool on the outside. Uh, it drives really well. You do concede a little bit of ride quality compared to a stock Bronco, but it's not bad. It's the price you pay for beauty, right? So let me know your thoughts on this. <laughs> Bronco Raptor is so fun to drive. Let me know your thoughts on this build. Um, and let me know your thoughts on the Bronco Raptor in general. Do you think this is a great vehicle to build off of or do you think you should just leave it stock?